these are the original uh, wheel well covers that came with the van and uh, I kept them because they've got carpet lined they're nice plastic they fit the shape perfectly and it means I don't need to make a box around the wheel covers I can just leave them exposed and cork that is my filler So let's talk about the floor construction and what we're doing. Obviously we've got the cork between the ribs. Over the top of that we're using XPS foam, which looks like that. That will fill up the gap between the ribs, the wooden ribs. Our wooden boards will be lying across it and you can see most of the weight there, even without the foam, that's not going to flex very easily. With the foam it's even more solid. We still need the foam to be strong enough to cope with the ends of these boards so that where there are joints that aren't on the solid ribs, it'll still be covered well. Good thing about the cork, I already had it because that was one of the layers I used previously. Here's my previous install of the floor that was too flexible and it's this foam at the bottom that was compressing and becoming a problem and there's nothing rigid on top to stop it. This time, we've got solid boards on top. The heater there I couldn't remove, it was too hard. Cork is a brilliant material, it is lightweight, it's environmentally friendly, easily workable, you just cut it with a knife and snap it in half, copes with moisture well, and I already had it, so it's quite cheap. So the problem I had with the previous build is the foam I used between the ribs was just too easily compressible. So the way this cork works, I've got two types of cork here. There's a 6 mil at the bottom and a 5 mil on top. And that makes 11 mils, which is exactly what I need to meet the height of the metal there as well. These particular wooden boards I've got, tongue and groove, solid oak. These were dirt cheap to buy, $100 for enough to do this whole van. And they're pre-finished on top already, so I don't need to do any sanding or polyurethaning. It's all ready to click together and it's done. And it's going to look amazing. Ribs are in. I've uh, double sided taped them down just to hold them in place, not really to give it much strength. So here we are putting the foam in. Had to cut this to fit between the ribs. Nothing like a big long piece of aluminium to make life easier. Yeah, get in there. And had to cut out a hole for our batteries. So they'll be slotting in. Just means they're a bit lower in the van, taking up less space above. Well, just like that, i.e. working all day, we've now finished laying the foam between our ribs. I've also managed to mount my batteries, new batteries, I'm mounting them into the floor, so it's a good time to figure out how I'm going to do that. So we're laying out the boards for a test fitting. It's quite important to make sure the heavily used areas are uh, crossing over multiple ribs. All right, today's job. I've decided to shift everything over by about 50 millimetres. So I'm just here at Pete's, used his table saw to trim the first pieces by 50 millimetres. Installing a little gap there at the edge, so we can make sure I've got a nice even gap all around the edges. And you can see I bought that out by 50 millimetres. It just means we won't have awkward little slithers like that one there to deal with where there's this tiny little slither and same against the battery and this wall here it'll be half a piece cut nicely and I don't think there's anywhere else where it'll really be a problem so had to trim up the pieces to fit the uh, end of the van just used a jigsaw look there we are jigsawing filed off the edges to make them less sharp 
quite easy to work with this wood because it's not too thick. Half done. Half not done. Let's have a look at our handiwork. Didn't do a very good job getting these all nice and lined up. But not too bad. This will be covered by a trim piece, so not the end of the world. What's it like to walk on? Really good. Solid as a rock. I shall continue. Wow, we're nearly done. I just got to measure the shower tray precisely and come and chop these last few bits to make sure that's exact. And install a bit of foam down the back there and check those boards fit. And then I think we're done. It's looking good. I might glue these down somehow too. All right, thanks for watching YouTube. We'll catch you next time. Hope you enjoyed this floor. Now I'm going to have to make sure I never scratch it. Yep. I might just cover it in carpet. That would make keep it safe. Good idea.